Hello all. I think there is one thing that has been overlooked in recent years when it comes to higher education and this was particularly during and after the pandemic when universities started to provide their uh, teaching in a uh, digital format. And that is, I believe, the importance of creating a sense of community for your students. And what I mean by the concept community is the importance of creating social bonds between teachers and students and also the importance to create relationships in your courses between different students. Because I think learning is pretty much something that happens in relationship with others where you can really reflect on your insight with people who have joined your learning process. And very much of this deeper learning, I think, is something that is dialogic. We have to talk about what we learn. We have to talk about it to really understand the meaning of different con uh, concepts, uh, the meaning of different phenomena. And this is often done in a pedag pedagogical environment where there is this sense of community. There is a trust between different participants. And overall, there's this sense of that we are in this process together. To build relationships, to build a sense of community was probably much easier or is probably much easier in a traditional context where you teach students in a classroom. A lot of relationship building probably happens before and after classes when uh, students engage in conversations with each other during the leisure time. And I think it's obviously a whole lot easier to develop this sense of closeness when you are in a shared space. But when you teach digitally, in a digital context, these things don't happen automatically. And therefore, I think it's extremely important that you provide some kind of relationship building elements in your digital pedagogy to correspond to the need of creating this sense of community and to somehow overlap the distance that you have when you are teaching or engaging in learning from this distance that digital environments are in reality. And therefore, I think for us who teach students in a digital format need to really engage in, in developing these uh, relationship building elements in your teaching so that you can somehow create this sense of community and create these relationships that I think that are crucial for learning. And to be honest, I think this part of creating relationships and developing this sense of community is something that I really much still struggle in my own teaching and I really need to look at this further when I develop my courses. But I have this idea that there are particularly three things that you really can consider or pay attention to when you are developing digital education for students. And the idea with this video is to share these thoughts with you here today. The first thing I think that is very essential is that you try to be socially generous when you teach online or when you teach in a digital format. And by saying that, I mean that you really have to provide something of yourself. And I think the first thing that you really can do is to avoid using those fake digital backgrounds that you can find on your Zoom and Teams applications. I think it's much better if you share your genuine workspace with your students and by that giving some kind of insight of not just where you work but also who you are. A very good way of creating this sense of me, for instance, has been that I have quite often had my dog in the frame uh, when I provide some videos, to have my dog involved usually creates at least the question that what is the dog's name and when I share my dog's name that creates some kind of a uh, uh, start to creating a bond that I'm just not some teacher guy, I am actually a person who students perhaps can relate to. So I believe it's very important that you provide something about yourself and try not to be overly formal and try not to be overly polished because people tend to see you as you are and I guess providing that genuine side of yourself is something that I think really creates this sensation of some kind of relate relatedness and some kind of social bond because I think we are good when we are 
who we are and that makes us relatable and that makes us also human. So be generous and be authentic, be genuine and share something from your environment and share something about your personality with your students even though you work in a digital format. That's at least my suggestion. And the second thing which I believe is also very important when it comes to developing this sense of community is that you should always include some kind of interactive elements in your teaching. And this is something that I really have struggled with. But I think one thing that helps to understand this is that I think we are like intuitively often thinking about digital education as something that can be provided to the masses. But I think if you want to develop a course that has this sense of community, I think you cannot just put out a video. I think you also have to have these interactive elements, which means that students need to come together in some kind of a social interplay with each other. And if you as a teacher can at least give one response that is genuine and taught out to your student, I think that really helps to create this sensational connection. If you have thousands or hundreds of students, you obviously cannot in interact with all of them individually. And therefore, I think small courses are often better in these terms when it comes to uh, this community idea. And even if you have a digital course, it doesn't have to be a course for the masses. I think digital courses can also be small and intimate. And that helps you to really include these interactive elements where you have one-to-one -one interaction with your students. And I think that's also very important that when you comment on students' papers and when you have a conversation online, try to be generous and genuine. Try to use students' first names and really provide this socially generous side of you. Because I think that really helps and that I think is also very much needed in these times when I believe that this whole digital environment is tearing us apart, at least to some extent. And the third and last thing might be a little bit controversial, and this is really much my opinion, and I would really much like to also hear what you think. But I think it should be a formal requirement in digital courses that students need to engage socially and be like socially active during digital courses. And I think this is something that we have to obligate our students to be during digital education. Because I don't think you can create a sense of community by yourself as a teacher. I think everybody included in that pedagogical environment contribute to this sensation of community. And therefore, I think that should be a formal requirement. And here is also, I think, the least thing that you can uh, insist is that if you, for instance, teach on, uh, on, on Zoom, you at least in the beginning obligate your students to turn on the camera so that you can actually see them and have this kind of sensation of who they are. I tend to recommend my students to always have on their camera and I also tend to recommend my students that they can also think about the environment that they want to share both with their teachers, teachers and with their fellow students. And I think this requirement should be made formal. And I think this is something that we should not be shied away from and be like overly protective of students' individual integrity. I think it's also the students' responsibility to create these pedagogical environments that are inclusive, that have, have this sense of community and where you really can engage in a genuine way that enables you to build relationships. Because as I said in the beginning, I do believe that relationships are very important when it comes to learning. But I guess that was all that I had planned for for this video. I have talked about why I think the sense of community is very important when it comes to digital education. I have talked about the need of being socially generous as a teacher. I've talked about the need of creating these interactive elements in your teaching. And I also made a point that I think that students will also be uh, required to be socially active when it comes to participating, participating in digital courses because I think all of us are responsible for creating uh, pedagogical communities that enhance and amplifies learning. But that was all that I had planned for for this video. I see you again soon. Have a nice day. And